April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. It is the most common cancer in young and middle-aged men between the ages of 20 to 35, according to the National Cancer Institute. Dr. Bagrodia, a urologic oncologist at UC San Diego Health, is here now to talk about the latest in research, treatment options, and prevention measures. Thanks for com coming in, doctor. Really appreciate this. Thanks for having me, Eric. All right, let's talk a little bit about what uh, some of the symptoms are, what men should be looking out for. And this age, this is, really impacts a younger group of men. That's right. This is, you know, typically a cancer of men between the ages of about 25 and 35. Cancer is not necessarily on anyone's forefront. You're, right. you're kind of going through life in the prime. The most common symptom that we see is a painless mass in the testicle. Okay. So it's growing. You don't necessarily feel any discomfort. Sometimes you can associated with rapid growth, but generally it's going to be painless. There could be some heaviness. There could be some aching. And many times, as you can imagine, Patients are a little bit reluctant to take time off of work or from school, or they dismiss it to trauma, something you know they're sure. embarrassed about before they go in and seek. So seek they're at that 25 to 35 year old age. They're busy. They're running around. Maybe starting their career. Maybe doing some uh, adult sports or whatever. And so they may not be uh, in tune with what might be happening with their with their body. Exactly. You got it. And it's a sensitive area. You know, it's right. a sensitive part of our body. Nobody's running to the doctor to talk yeah. about their scrotum and their testicles. A absolutely. Um, but something that should be on top of mind, which is why we uh, we want to make sure our viewers are, are understanding this, that there are uh, treatment options. There are ways that you can go about looking for this. Is, what are some of the self-testing measures that men can do to make sure that uh, everything's healthy there? Yeah, I always tell my patients, nobody knows your testicles is better than you. Right. So, you know, getting familiar with yourself, maybe setting a calendar invite every month to just do a self-exam in the shower. And that just generally requires rolling the testicles around within your, between your two first fidget digits and your, and your thumb. And that could be sufficient. If you now, if you start noticing things that are markedly different, that could lead to seeking care with your medical doctor and, and so on and yeah. so forth. None of these slogans, by the way, will be on a t-shirt anytime soon, I don't think, right? But uh, non nonetheless, very important uh, for, for men out there to be wary of. Um, what are some of the treatment options? Uh, you find a lump, you find something to concern, you come in, uh, what are some of the options that men have? So generally the first things that are happening are you're going to get an ultrasound to confirm that there's a mass and some blood work to, that can indicate the presence or absence of a tumor. Mm -hmm. And really the, the crux of the matter is the earlier we catch it, the higher likelihood we can cure you with very little further intervention. Okay. So um, there's no stage four testis cancer. It's curable across all stages, Great. even when it spreads, which is wonderful. But if it's confined to the scrotum or stage one, then typically just removing the testicle alone is perfectly sufficient for both diagnosis and to cure you. Okay, well, it's a really important conversation to have. Where can people learn more information if they wanna dive into this issue a little bit more? Yeah, we have a wonderful multidisciplinary testis cancer clinic at UC San Diego uh, here in our, you know, Southern California yeah. region. Of course, there's other resources like the National Cancer Institute. We can read a little bit more. Yeah. But, you know, bottom line, if you feel something, you feel yeah. something abnormal, certainly if you have risk factors like a family history of testicular cancer, an undescended testicle as a kid, or a personal history of testis cancer, anything that changes within the scrotum should probably warrant medical consultation. Awesome. Doctor, thanks so much for coming in to talk with us. Appreciate Thank it. You. All right.